Hi viewers, this is Mubina Ashkar from Full of Chemistry. From today, I have de decided to discuss for the examination Kerala PSC Chemistry Scientific Officer Chemical Examiner's, Examiner's Laboratory, which will be conducting on, on April 13 this year. So, I am Chemistry Scientific Officer Chemical Examiner's Laboratory uh, previous question paper answer jayilum, syllabus and sericilla topic discussion um, Adinde model questions um, discuss and the Riman Chitunda and videos kaanuga, watch yuga, notes yudukua, subscribe yuga. Okay, so let's start. OE questions 2014 Nadana Chemistry Scientific Officer for Chemical Examiner's Laboratory. Adile questions on with the answer and discussions on So question number one Auto analyzers in clinical laboratories employ options kinetic analysis, endpoint analysis, qualitative analysis, and none of the above. The answer is option A kinetic analysis. So what is auto analyzer? Auto analyzer is an automated analyzer using a flow technique called continuous flow analysis or more correctly segmented flow analysis. The instrument invented in 1957 by Leonard Skex. So the endpoint analysis EPA allows to scan single or multiple endpoints to provide a list of applications that are present and that have run on a particular computer. The EPA helps to simplify the creation of an appropriate application control configuration. And the option C qualitative analysis include the determination about a chemical species or a reaction etc. So second question, the property of emission spectroscopy is employed in options fluorimeter, photoelectric colorimeter, spectrophotometer and flame photometer. The answer is option D, flame photometer. The flame photometer is a device used in inorganic chemical analysis to determine the concentration of certain metal ions like sodium, potassium, calcium. Group 1 and group 2 metals are quite sensitive to flame photometry due to their low excitation energies. And colorimeter is for the quantitative analysis of substances like glucose, blood urea, blood enzymes, etc. It works on the principle of absorption of light. Here, a beam of light with a specific wavelength is passed through a solution via a series of lenses, which navigate the colored light to the measuring device. This analyzes the color compared to an existing standard. A microprocessor then calculates the absorbance or percentage transmittance. And what is fluorimeter or fluorometer, which is used to measure the parameters of visible spectrum fluorescence, that is its intensity and wavelength distribution of emission spectrum after excitation by a certain spectrum of light. And spectrophotometer measures the amount of photons or intensity of light absorbed after it passes through a sample solution. Third question, normal range of specific gravity of urine, options 1 to 1.02, 1.0152, 1.023, 0.512, 0.91 and 1.312, 1.415. The answer is B, 1.0152, 1.023. The urine specific gravity is a measure of the ratio of density of urine to the density of water. Increases in specific gravity, also called hyperstenuria, increase to concentration of solutes in the urine associated with dehydration, excessive sweating, urinary tract or bladder infection, renal artery stenosis, etc. Fourth question is, Vandenberg reaction is used for the analysis of options, bilirubin, calcium, transaminase and prothrombin. The answer is option A, bilirubin. The Vandenberg reaction determines the amount of conjugated bilirubin in the blood. The bilirubin reacts with diacetized sulfanilic acid to produce purple colored azobilirubin. And the fifth question is, one letter code for an amino acid that is optically inactive is options G, S, A, 
E. The answer is A. G. G for glycine. Glycine is the only amino acid which is optically inactive and it is the simplest amino acid. NH2, CH2, COH. Question. Carimulis got Nobel Prize on his invention of autoanalyzer, DNA sequencer, PCR or MRI. The answer is option C, PCR, polymerized chain reaction. He got Nobel Prize in 2019. PCR is used to make millions of copies of a target piece of DNA. It is an indispensable tool in modern molecular biology and has transformed scientific research and diagnostic medicine. The tenth question is, the term heterochromatin refers to transcribing chromatin, active chromatin, histidine bound chromatin or inactive chromatin. The answer is option D, heterochromatin is an inactive chromatin. It is a tightly packed or condensed form of DNA and is inactive for transcription while the euchromatin is loose chromatin structure and is active for transcription. Eighth question is, in RIA, the factor that is present in limiting quantities is options, labeled antigen, antigen, antibody or none of the above. The answer is option C, antibody. The radioimmunoassay uses radio labeled molecules in a stepwise formation of immune complexes. It is a very sensitive in vitro assay technique used to measure concentrations of substances measuring antigen concentrations, for example, hormone levels in blood by the use of antibodies. Ninth question is PAS stain is used in electrophoresis for the detection of options dna glycoprotein rna or lipoprotein the answer is option b glycoprotein the pas staining or per iodic acid shift staining is commonly used for the identification of glycoproteins separated on polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis in the presence of sodium dodecyl sulfate also used to detect glycolipids and mucins in tissues. PAS stains the carbohydrate molecules a deep red or magenta color. Question is a unit of radioactivity is options Curie, Becquerel, Gray or all of the above. The answer is option D. The SA unit is Becquerel. 1 Curie is equal to 3.7 into 10 raised to 10 Becquerel. And what is gray? Gray is the unit of radiation dose. Let's wind up. So, April 13 is the exam. So, please watch and subscribe my channel full of chemistry.